I, I meant to announce this live stream, actually. I probably should have done that. Hold on a second. Okay. And we should be live, let's see. You can never really tell until YouTube tells you someone's watching your stream. But you know, there's a chance no one's gonna come in immediately at the start. There we go, we got one person in the stream. Welcome, hello everybody. Uh, I really should have announced this stream beforehand. We have lag already, man. And um, I really should have announced this stream beforehand. I meant to, but uh, I, I didn't. Um, Hello everybody and welcome to another live stream here on the channel. Today I'm very excited. This is going to be the first of probably two or three streams where we go through the new Cars Ultimate Sticker Collection book um, one page at a time and we, we fill it out with all the appropriate stickers in its appropriate places. I used to get these, wow, we already got 10 people in one minute. Welcome guys, now it dipped down to nine. I used to buy these sticker books all the time as a kid. Uh, and I had a ton. One of them was for Cars Diecast, they did it in 2012. And what I always loved about these is they're not just a bunch of stickers. I mean, there are a bunch of stickers, look at that, right? But, um, it's like, it's a full out book. It's like a little mini reference book, which is why I wanted to get it. It's not often we get Cars reference books, and I love, uh, reference books for fictional franchises. I specifically got this because they promised on the road content. Um, there's only one page on On the Road in the back. It's kind of misleading because on the cover you see On the Road McQueen or Yuki and Ivy. Uh, the only four stickers they use for On the Road are Mater, McQueen, Ivy, and Nuri Yuki. Oh, and it's Mater's On the Road render. So all four of the On the Road stickers included are right there on the cover. Um, I picked this up last week and my plan was to do a review on the sticker book, but I was thinking like, I can't just review an empty sticker book, obviously, so I decided I'm gonna go through the sticker book and put all the pieces in their place over the course of several live streams. This stream's just gonna be an hour, probably. Um, and then we'll do a part two, and probably a part three. I could see me getting this done over three live streams. Um, so yeah, I, I filmed an opening part of my review, just sort of going over what the book is right before starting the stream. I'm not sure how much interest there will be in me doing a separate review video after I go through uh, every single sticker in the book over the course of these live streams. Uh, we'll just have to see. I'll probably do a poll after all the sticker uh, completion live streams are done asking, would you still like to see a review of the book as a whole? First impressions, it's really nice to have a comprehensive book on all stuff in the car series. Yeah, it's a sticker book, but it's so cool to get content from Cars 1, 2, and 3, and a little bit of on the road all in one place. Look, you have Professor Z there on the cover. I was shocked going through this book, seeing just how much stuff from Cars 2 is in here, because just a few years ago, they would have acted like it never happened. Um, but yeah, because it was 13 bucks, picked it up at Barnes & Noble, which is a bookstore here in the U.S. I don't know how global Barnes & Noble is. Um, but yeah, we'll get started with this in just a few minutes. We'll start by looking at each page individually, and then we'll start with the uh, the stickers. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm... I was just saying, I'll probably do a review on the book itself. I, I filmed an opening segment on on the book, uh, but throughout this live stream and the next few, which will be me still going through this book, uh, it's gonna you're gonna get a very comprehensive guide of literally every single thing in this book. So I don't know if you would still want to watch a review if you watch all the live streams I do on this. Although it would definitely be easier for somebody to watch just a video going through the sticker book. So I'm definitely still gonna post that review, just sort of overview of of each page, but. Um, I had to film a, an intro for the book before it's completed. Now I'm doing these live streams and in probably a, a week or two You'll see a review up where I go through it once it's completed um, oh, Project Tiger Moth I've Heard of that that was that is a team of people who Have for the past several years been trying to make a new original Thomas and Friends episode, right? This Project Tiger Moth they have a set of props that are practically identical to what they use in the 80s and 90s uh, it looks very impressive. I'll definitely check it out when it's out because it looks like a very impressive, ambitious fan project. Um, very cool. And I'm, I'm sure the people involved are very proud because it looks, it looks unrecognizable from the actual series. 
from from what has been shown off. I think that like it's being aired for the first time at a train show in New Jersey. Um, I don't know. I haven't watched Thomas since I was I want to say six. So I don't really have a preference. Like, I can't remember specific, the way specific narrators handled things. Because, uh, when I was a kid, um, I didn't know who the narrators were. I, 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 I don't know what you're referring to with the Polar Express Lionel set. I'm sure it looks good if you like the Polar Express, which I don't. It's a cute book, but it's easily one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I think it's kind of funny that it's become like a cult classic because everyone hates the CGI because it's horrifying and everyone is Tom Hanks. I watched it in like kindergarten. I was so confused because I loved that Polar Express book as a little kid and then they made the movie and I was like, maybe a 40 page kids book shouldn't be turned into a movie with terrifying CGI Tom Hanks as every adult character, you know, but hey, that's how it is sometimes. You don't get many uh, kids' movies that are just an adaptation of a kid's book, right? And then you get them every once in a while. You had uh, Where the Wild Things Are, which I think was live action. Didn't Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro almost do that movie? I forget. I, I never saw it. Um, and you have... you have Yeah, there, there are quite a few movies out there that are just adaptations of kids' books. But, you know, you're really... When you're adapting a kid's book, which would probably take... You know, maybe 20 minutes to read tops. You're going to need to add a lot of fluff. Look at the Lorax movie. There you go. Think about the, the sheer metric ton of fluff they added to that. It's a rock opera for some reason. Uh, Zac Efron is there as a little boy in the future where everything's plastic. And the subject of... Bad movies based off of kids' books. Can you can you name a good movie based off of a kids' book? And don't say Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, because that barely counts. That was a cute movie, but uh, I, I don't know how much I counted as an adaptation of a book. From what I remember, that book is just like a grandpa telling his kid, like, yeah, it rained meatballs once. And the kid's like, Dad, I'm trying to win Fortnite. Leave me alone. <clears throat> Get started with the actual sticker book and like two minutes. <laughs> Welcome, Amazing World of Cards 28. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to get started in, in just a minute. About YouTube, yeah, sure. I, I, don't, I don't know how much I'll be able to tell you, <laughs> but uh, that's cool. Eh? Welcome, everyone, joining the stream. We're gonna get started here. We're going through the Cars Ultimate Sticker Collection today, putting all the stickers in their places. Uh, this is gonna be, I titled the stream part one because it's probably gonna take me several live streams to do this. This stream is just gonna be an hour. I've been doing only an hour long streams lately and I think it really works for me. I like the format. I feel like my my streams uh, can, can drag on a little sometimes when I'm not really sure what to do or over time as the stream goes on. Some viewers lose interest. Um,
So yeah, probably just gonna make it a little, little over an hour. I'm gonna wait for a few more people to join in because I'm, I'm sure a lot of people probably wanna um, see what's in the book here. I am gonna be posting a full review. If you'd rather just like skip the live streams, you know, skip me going through every single thing and every every single sticker one by one by one by one by one uh, and just wait for my review to come out in, in a few weeks, then you could probably do that. Um, it's not coming out for a while though because I found seven, I have seven new cars to review. Like I said earlier in the stream, I stopped watching Thomas and Friends when I was like six. I stopped watching it after Misty Island Rescue, but Toby was, was always my favorite as a kid. Really should have, I was gonna put up a community post about this stream. I feel like this is one some people probably would, would wanna see because of the sticker book. I don't know if anyone's really done any content on YouTube covering it, at least not that I know of, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> Give it a, another minute or two before we get started going through the book. All right, you know what? Let's get started. We're gonna go through, before I start putting the stickers in, I'm just gonna be going through uh, Iris. That, I mean, it's a real name, but when I, when I think Iris, I think, uh, I think like the part of your eye. So I don't know, I think Ivy's, Ivy's probably a better name. Um, both both would, have, would have worked though, but I think Ivy has, is a bit more catchy of a name. Uh, so this is the ultimate Disney Pixar Cars sticker collection. As I said earlier, I have a ton of these like in my basement. I used to get these all the time as a kid. And I always wanted the Cars one. All I had was a Cars diecast one. Um, they never made a regular Cars one. But the way these books work is you can see read the captions and find the sticker that best fits the space. Wow. But yeah, this is pretty cool because it's very comprehensive for all three Cars movies, and it has one little page for On the Road at the back, as I said earlier, it's a bit misleading. Um, the only stickers you get for On the Road are Ivy, Nuriyuki, Lightning, and Mater, all of whom are on the cover. So yes, it includes On the Road, but not in high capacity. Zoom into action with the exciting collection of stickers from all the Cars movies. Join your favorite characters on their high-speed adventures. Include sticker activities and lots of extra stickers, yeah. Uh, again, this was $13, and I picked it up because, again, it's not often we get Cars reference books. Uh, so yeah, the first page here, again, we'll go through all these pages, and then we will uh, go through them with stickers. We have Racing Hero, which of course is just on Lightning. Stickers here, we have Lightning, Life in the Fast Lane, No Giving Up. I'll be going through and reading these as we put, like reading the captions as we put the stickers down. Uh, but for now, we may as well just... Preview it. The fans, Mia and Tia, McQueen merch, and winning at life. <laughs> That's a solid name, guys. Then we have a Cars 3 McQueen render there. Next page is Quiet Town. Let me just angle the camera up a bit. You can see, again, some spots are going to be for locations, some for events, some for characters. Lizzie Cafe, Castell Tires, Lizzie, Sheriff. Red, Willie's Butte, we've got Ramon's House of Body Art. Uh, then we, <laughs> this is just called Friends. I love how, how Lizzie and Sheriff aren't allowed to be on the Friends page. Where's Red? Is Red? I assume Red is. Do we miss Red? Is Red here? Oh yeah, Red's there. Red doesn't have a, Red's sticker is a screenshot, I guess. Friends, we have Mater, Luigi, Guido, uh, Mac, Sally, Fillmore and Sarge. I like how Luigi and Guido are separate stickers, but Fillmore and Sarge are one. Uh, Doc Hudson. Then, oh, look, we have friends. Then we have best friends. Ooh. Big adventures. We got Finn down here. How nice is that? We're getting Cars 2 representation in this book, and a lot of it. Like, there's a lot of Cars 2 stuff in this book. Racing an icon. Fame. J just fame, all caps. Mater Mix Up. Finn McMissile. Italian Feast. Mater the Spy. City of Lights. Crazy Eight. 
which of course is the Demolition Derby. So just, you know, some wacky adventures the Cars characters have been on. Best Friends here has one of the most interesting details in the book. This is a picture from the 2005 Cars teaser trailer from when Mater, like, accidentally squashes a bee. Yeah. Which is so crazy to see this render still being used in 2022, but... Very, very interesting. We have unexpected friends. Is it Owen Wilson? Is it Owen Wilson's birthday? Um, we didn't do anything? Where, oh, I forgot. I'm pretty... Yeah, it's November 18th, right? Oh, man. Well, you know what? Happy birthday, Owen Wilson. Pretty sure, yeah. Let's see. It's Owen Wilson. I just spelled Owen with a Q. Okay, the Q's right next to the... I like how Owen Wilson immediately comes up in my Google search history because I'm going to do images for him in videos. Yeah! Uh, Owen Wilson is 54 years old today. Welcome, Cars and I. Please wish Owen Wilson a happy birthday. He is 54 today, November 18th, 1968. He was born. Happy birthday, Owen Wilson. Can we all get a celebrate? Can, can we get some wows in the chat for Owen today? Please, thank you. Uh, so Best Friends here, interestingly, uses the 2005 uh, trailer render for Lightning and Mater. We have Unexpected Friends, First Meeting, Trusted Friend, Royal Honor, F Fun Times, Video Chat, Pair of Pranksters. I'm starting to sound like the Smash Bros announcer. Little Mac, Ace Races. We have, I like this page. This is probably one of my favorite pages. I think it's cool because it contains Little segments on all the different major races from throughout the car series. We have the Piston Cup, Tokyo Grand Prix, Porto Corsa Grand Prix, London Grand Prix. It's cool to see the uh, World Grand Prix split up into separate segments. Crazy 8, Florida 500, Race Reporter. Uh, Shannon Spokes really got in this book over Daryl and Bob. Uh, and Eyes on the Prize. I think just because Shannon is easier to find a render for than Daryl and Bob. Uh, then we have Racing Rivals. Uh, I, I, I wish there was a bit more space than just two pages to fit the different racers, but I get it. They have to do a lot in this book. Uh, so we have the King, Chick Hicks, uh, Francesco, Carla, Jackson Storm. I like that Carla's there. Glad we have more than one World Grand Prix racer. Jeff, speaking of World Grand Prix racers, Jeff is there too. I like the Misfitters and Racing Rivals. It's cute. Uh, Danny and Chase race a lot. Of course, you always need to highlight your next gens, but like they aren't rivals. They're not like... And again, I guess they're as much rivals as Carla is. Yeah, the Jeff render is a, a very unique one. I it's I thought it was his Cars 3 render. It's not. Um, but it's a, it's a very unique render. Then we have this here. Use the extra stickers to create your own race scene. No. No, I don't think I will. Then we have sponsorship. For all of you avid Cal Weathers fans such as myself, you were probably freaking out that he wasn't on the Racing Rivals page, but don't worry. He's right here on the sponsorship page that discusses Rusty's and Dynaco. Rusty and Dusty, Tex, Dynaco Helicopter. <laughs> Looks really funny. That's how huge it is. Cal, Sterling, High Tech Training. In it for the money. I assume that's on Sterling, maybe. Then we have... <gasps> Yo, Daft Punk! I didn't know they were in here. I'll be here all day making my terrible pop culture references. Uh, Radiator Springs. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll wait on what's that flavor because it's an entire sticker devoted to the wasabi chef. You could already see without even reading it, it's the wasabi chef. And then I'm like, okay, well let's read what's under it instead. Tokyo Toilets, Italian Vista, Italian Life, Italian Buckingham Palace, Italian Thomasville, Italian Big Bentley. <laughs> Villain Vehicle. Villain. V Villain Vehicles. We have Chick Cheats, Madman with a Monocle, whoever wrote this was just polite plotter blue bodyguard guys guys we need we need to describe all the antagonists of the car series using only alliteration guys what do we call professor z madman with a monocle guys what do we call ivan B blue bodyguard uh uh the, the, what do we what do we what do we call miles axrod polite plotter oh look they call victor hugo victor h 
again. Double Trouble, Lemonhead, Professor Z, The Lemon. So yeah, a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of lemons, which is very surprising. Sticky Situations, beautiful picture guys, I love that. Muddy Mayhem, so these are some of the stickiest, wackiest situations from the car series. Blown Tires, Tangled, Under Arrest, Under Attack. Man, it's a bomb, what a sticky situation. The main character almost blew up. Man, black and blue bully. Well, he's more of a, he's more of a, of a dark gray. I, I think it's a little inappropriate to put it's a bomb on sticky situations. It's a bit, sticky situations, like, uh-oh, you know, it's like a little. Oh, that's interesting for Angry Birds. I, I heard, like, some rumor that it was Tony, the blue version of Terrence. Interesting, Carly. Like, it's, it's a bomb. It, it's a bomb. It's like, man, what a sticky situation. He has a bomb strapped to him. In any other context, this is something that you should not joke about, but this is Cars 2 we're talking about. Man, Simulator Fiasco and Demolition Derby are also on this page, but like for real, sticky situations. Being a world famous race car gives Lightning many opportunities to try new things. Sometimes find himself in more trouble than he's bargained for. Uh oh, like a bomb. On his, a bomb on his best friend. Oh wait, oh wait, let's just read it. Most of the time, Lightning can laugh at the sticky situations he gets into. But when he discovers Mater has a bomb in his engine, the stakes are much higher. Lightning must help his friend, but defuse the bomb before it's too late. Even they acknowledge, like, that's not a joke. He has a bomb on him. It's interesting that the whole book is in sort of Lightning's perspective, I guess. Uh, crazy situations. <laughs> I don't know what that's a reference to, but... I mean, it's accurate. <clears throat> okay, we have mentors. Oh, uh, was Cruz not in the book before? Oh, I guess, I guess not. Okay, cool. Um, so here's the Cruz section. First mentor, new lease on life, new museum tribute. Uh, Smokey, Cruz, mentor swap, old new mentor, becoming a mentor. Wait, all right, guys, all right. How many times do they, do they say mentor? One, two. I thought that's a mentor that just says mentally. Okay, one, two, three, uh, the, uh, the four, five, six, s seven. It says mentor and student down there. A lot of mentors. It's from like the credit version of the theme song. This page bothers me. That's just a matte painting of Smokey, and that's a CG render of McQueen. It. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shot every time they say mentor. <laughs> This is, this is, these are not the same. Thomasville. I like that Thomasville gets two pages. That's cool. Smokey and the Legends, Junior Moon, River Scott, Luis Nash. Very nice that they get their own sec uh, sections. In the fields, Thomasville Speedway, and Tractor Training. I love how comprehensive this book was. I was so concerned with, with very inconsistent and awkward, yeah. I was very concerned with them just forgetting major things. But no, they, they put basically anything you'd need in like a beginner's guide to cars. You know, I doubt I'll learn anything new from this, but it's just, it's nice to have a book like this. This is coming from me. I have like 70 different Star Wars reference books from over the years. It is Smokey from Meet the Cars, but that render existed before that. Um, and like, you're like, oh, okay, well maybe they're missing some characters. Yeah, they're missing some characters, but here, your your final page, your final two pages here are on just weird random characters uh, that didn't get spotlighted before. Mainly from Cars 2, but from some other stuff. We have the Queen, we have the Pope, we have the Kabuki Cars, we have Sidley, Frank, Dr. Damage, and Mama Topolino. Just, you know, fun to see. And then on the final page, we have On the Road. Which is a big disappointment, but that's okay. And with that out of the way, we are 25 minutes in. Jeez. I guess we should get started with putting down all the stickers. And you can see all throughout some very interesting uh, things. Nah, Doctor must have been written down somewhere. You could see some very interesting renders used all throughout this book. We already spotlighted Jeff Corvette. 
Oh no, he did that. That I yeah. Okay, all right. Uh Okay, so our first sticker is winning at life. I remember this was on the McQueen page. What we'll do is, this is how I always used to do it as a kid, just go through these pages one by one and just put them in the appropriate places, right? Um, so yeah, let's, 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 uh, let's get started. You can see they have these little other random stickers all throughout. Then they have extra stickers uh, at the back, which are just duplicates of pre-existing stickers from earlier on in the book. When I was little, all the ones they had, uh, all the ones they had, um, were just duplicates from the rest of the book, but here they shrunk them all down. They would literally copy and paste the regular sticker pages, uh, and make them extra stickers, but now they shrunk them down, and looks like there are a lot less, but hey, you have these, which are like 400 million little tiny shrunken down versions of other stickers and or other miscellaneous screenshots. Look at how many of these there are. That's crazy. <clears throat> okay, we're going to get started with winning, winning at life. That's what Lightning McQueen is doing. This is this is winning at life. That's what that's what being successful looks like. That I believe again they're in a random order, which always made it more fun for me. Yep, winning at life. Here it is right here. Let's put it down. Good thing with this, unlike I've complained so many times about Lego stickers doing my Lego live streams, but here they make it very easy to remove if you mess up. So there we go. First one is down. Winning at life. Being famous and on TV is great, but Lightning would choose his friends over fame anytime. I feel like we have a disconnect between the name, the description, and the image. There's just like okay, good to have good to have friends. Thank you, cars. But like, is it just me or is there like some something? Could have could have done something a little more with that like I don't I don't think that's the most appropriate image to use for that caption maybe something with like him and Sally or him and Radiator Springs but no that's still him in the piston cup uh, I guess that's sort of what they're going for though um I I don't want to talk about the salt flats nine pack that was like some weird rumor leak thing um I don't know how legit it was um so there's gonna be a Walmart exclusive and that's really weird they don't do nine packs um so honestly, no comment. I, I don't know what to say regarding that pack. If it's real, if it's not, um, we'll see. Okay, up next we have Crazy 8. This was on our favorite page, Sticky Situations. So here we have, there you go. Yeah, I guess we, people were under the assumption that long car is exclusive to that nine pack, right? Okay, this one was, was Crazy 8, right? Oh, it's not here. This page says Demolition Derby. Is it, where, where is the, where is the Crazy 8 page? Yeah, no Steve Hersel sticker. Here's Crazy 8. He's, he's so important. The Crazy 8 Demolition Derby is less of a race and more of a battle for survival. Lightning finds himself on the track by accident and he tries to avoid getting smashed to smithereens. Are you asking if there should be a sticker of Steve Hersel? Of course, he's the most prominent character in the end. The Cars franchise would would not be the Cars franchise if Steve Hersel were not in the series. We could all agree on that. That's Cars isn't Cars without Steve Hersel. It's just not. It's not the same thing. And I don't care for Cars. The, the, I, I wouldn't care for cars if Steve Hersel were not a character in the franchise. Here's Mac. Planning on getting the Showtime loop. Uh, that was another rumor that we don't have deluxes next year. I think that rumor makes perfect sense. But, I mean, they will still probably be included in multi-packs. Take a look at the Circus Stunt biplane or the long car, both of whom would have been deluxes. I still have zero plans on getting the Circus Stunt Loop. I'm not paying $25 for a big circle and a plastic ivy. 
Uh, Mac. Rusty's Racing Center Mac is the image they chose for Mac. Just your daily reminder that there still isn't a die cast of this. I think that was on the Friends page. I love how me and Tia are in the book before Mater and Sally and everyone important. Mac and Lightning go back a long way. Transporter Truck Mac has been driving Lightning to his racing tournament since the very beginning. Yeah, we'll see what happens with Deluxes. The future looks kind of bleak. Obviously, they're not gone forever, obvious, obviously. I think they're just trying to sort some stuff out with them currently. It seems to me that the pandemic threw a wrench into uh, distribution of Deluxes and creation of Deluxes. Um, <clears throat> Thailand hasn't done too well with Deluxes since they started. But again, we'll see. There's no way. Obviously, they're not gone forever. Obviously, that's completely jumping the gun and assuming the worst. Um, it's a bomb. We found it's a bomb. <laughs> Back to the front. We have eyes on the prize. Oh, wait, I didn't read Mac. Did, did I read Mac? Did I read Mac? I did read Mac, right? Guys, did I read Mac? I, why am I already forgetting? <laughs> I'm going crazy. Did I read the Mac section or not? Oh, okay. I'm just I'm I'm kind of on autopilot. I, I I'm 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 kinda on autopilot. Eyes on the prize. Kind of on autopilot between um you know, reading comments, reading the book, putting down stickers, finding the stickers, putting them in the right place, answering your questions. Yeah, I want to get the Reds Firehouse because car, my Cars Adventures Radiator Springs, my Radiator Springs diorama does not have a courthouse. So I'm going to get it and throw it in the back of Cars Adventures probably. Race winners get to take home the trophy and no trophy is as iconic and sought after as the Piston Cup. Simple, basic, understandable. I'm glad the Piston Cup gets its own dedicated section. The Piston Cup, the item. Okay, then we have Buckingham Palace, which I believe is on the Daft Punk page. It's a shot of Buckingham Palace from Cars 2. Let's see, I don't remember where that page was. After the Racers? Was uh, Yep! No trip, hold on, put it down and then we'll read it. No trip to London would be complete without a visit to the Queen and her home, Buckingham Palace. Too soon? Mm. Oh, that one was a little misaligned. Let's redo that. All right. Up next. We have <clears throat> Mater. Of course, Mater's Tall Tales are like the one prominent Cars media, you know, missing from this book. Just kind of a shame. They could have had a page. You are you are joking about the K Sterling theory, right? That's been completely destroyed by the sheer existence of the show. That I, I'm I'm gonna assume that's a joke. Because, I mean, it's if it's a joke, it's pretty solid. I mean, K. Pillar Derev, for starters, is female, uh, runs a circus, is not Sterling, is the same car mold as Sterling. That's like assuming that not, not every car that's the same mold is the same character. You know? Well, she has a female voice because she is female. Uh, 25 days suggestions. I open them up after Thanksgiving, typically. Um, so, yeah. Don't worry, you will definitely have time to request them. They will be out soon. 
Yeah, but like, Sterling's just a Sterling's just a rich guy. That's the extent to which he exists. He's he's rich. He's probably out of a job. He's not K Pillar Durev. Um, Mater is a rusty tow truck with a heart of gold and a wild sense of humor. He was Lightning's first friend when the red race car arrived at Radiator Springs on his own. I'm sure that Mater render has been used somewhere. I have no clue where. Uh, but I like that this book uses some unique renders. Uh, again, it's got to be from somewhere, but I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever seen it. It looks like a Cars 2 era Mater design. Definitely not a Cars 1 era Mater design. It may just be a screenshot from maybe Cars 2. Maybe Cars 3? Maybe, but I think this is a Cars 2 Mater. There are little subtle differences in design. I can't even point my finger at what they are, but... That's not Mater's official Cars 3 render. Mater's official Cars 3 render is very close to his on-the-road render. That's not like his... That is... So you're saying that is a Cars 3 render, but that's not the Cars 3 Mater render. Um, yeah, okay, so it is a Cars 3 Mater. Interesting. I have a weird obsession with where the renders come from. I'm usually pretty good at identifying them, but I, don't, I didn't recognize them. I'm glad I'm not the only one who really finds the renders interesting. Race Reporter! What about Boat Reynolds? Are you gonna say he's crabby? Uh, so this is Shannon Spokes, who got her own section. Hi, I'm Shannon Spokes. I got into this book instead of Bob Cutlass and Daryl Car Trip. Um, I forget what page she was on. She's also on the Piston Cup page. We got a few on that page already. It's right before this, yeah? Oh, was it after? Wait. Where's the page on the... Boat Reynolds is a parody of actor Burt Reynolds that appears in Planes, Fire, and Rescue uh, uh, at, at the, uh, the, the lodge. The Grand Fusel Lodge. I forgot that's name. Um, race reporter. Announcers and reporters keep fans up to date. What do you mean then you feel the same way about Boat Reynolds? Nobody thought he was anyone. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm confused, I'm sorry. Uh, Shannon Spokes is a top interviewer. She's never afraid to ask the tough questions. She had like three lines in the movie. Is it the boat that screams? My favorite Cars character is the boat that screams. All right, we got Miss Fredder, who's our first entry on the Racing Rivals page. And I think it's so funny that she's on the Racing Rivals page. I, lo I love that. That's funny. Now, of course, we know that Miss Fredder, in the end, is, is just a big softy when it comes to McQueen. Um... Lightning has never been more terrified than when he first has never been more terrified than when he first lays eyes on the demolition derby champ Miss Fritter. The uh the um grammar here is a bit off. Is that just me? Lightning has never been more terrified than when he first lays eyes like that's not proper grammar. They should say lightning was never wait, what would the proper grammar even be? There's like a weird confusion with uh the here. Guys, the fact that we're still doing this, did you even watch the show? <laughs> While he attempts to stay out of her way, he can't help but admire how fearless she is. He never says that. He never said that. He never admired Miss Fritter. He thought she was gonna kill him. Fake news, or is that or is that new lore? New car's lore. Lightning secretly admired how fearless Miss Fritter was. Okay. Cool. New lore. New lore? <laughs> new lore alert. Someone add that to the Cars Wiki. Don't add that to the Cars Wiki. I know I have viewers who are on the Cars Wiki and have sometimes occasionally added inaccurate information. Don't add that. I'm making a joke. Um, but yes. Can someone tell me, this shot is everywhere. I think it was just a promo image. Is that even in the movie? I don't think it's even in the movie, but it's like one of the most iconic Cars images. Just 
straight up ever, right? Well, I mean, I don't know. She very well could be. I mean, <laughs> she's actually from another dimension. Actually, she crossed over. Yeah. The second top editor on the wiki. Oh, yeah, you are. I think I've seen your name on the car's wiki. I have a wiki account. I could add that. I very well could add that. Um... <clears throat> I actually started a Cars wiki at one point. Late last year, Robin Talesfighter and I started making a Cars diecast wiki. Um, I would much rather that be on the regular Cars wiki, but I get why you wouldn't want to do that because you'd have to add like a thousand additional pages. What do you mean like WandaVision? You mean as in it's connected to a movie? Whatever. Um, they're currently with wiki, yeah. Uh, so Robin and I tried to make our own separate Cars Diecast wiki, which we haven't worked on in almost a year. And we never, like, let it open to the public, and we probably should have, so it was we more than just us editing. But we wanted individual pages on each diecast, going over how many times they were released. Just, like, a very comprehensive guide to everything in the Cars Diecast line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Cars on the Road has literally nothing to do with the Cars 4, and, like, they're not making Cars 4, so... I, I I would probably be genuinely upset if I woke up one morning and saw they greenlit a Cars 4. I'd, I'd be annoyed. Yeah, um... When we were making that wiki, uh, there was not another Cars Diecast wiki out there. And when I saw there was, I was like, you know what, forget it, man. So I think there deserves to be a comprehensive database. The BDD World of Cars French Forum is what I mainly use. Part of it's in French, but it's, it's like, the best resource for me. Uh, I use it basically every day. We have no confirmation that Deluxes are officially cancelled for 2023. That's just a rumor going around. I wouldn't be surprised if it's true, but, you know, Deluxes could still appear in multi-packs or in other places, and probably will. Yeah, well, I mean, not in terms of die-cast. It doesn't have, like, the Star Wars card. RV? Oh, yeah, well, they go, they go through, um, it's based off of, like, what, what they've found in France. No, I, I know who RV is, but. No, 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 it has nothing to do with My Cars 4. My Cars 4 is a fan film. If they make an official Cars 4, it has nothing to do with mine. I have... I don't care. Mine is called Ty's Cars 4 in case one day Pixar says, Yo, we're making a Cars 4, you know? Mine has no association with it. I just don't think there should be a Cars 4. I just think it's genuinely a bad idea. I think On the Road is the right next step for the Cars series. It doesn't have to do much. It's not continuing some grand story. It's just like a fun, cute little story. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You do as many seasons of that as you want. I'm not going to complain, but if you make Cars 4, I would I would not be a fan. I would watch it. I would buy whatever diecasts come out for it. I'd do videos on it, yeah. But, you know, I, I don't think it's necessary. It's just completely unnecessary, in my opinion. Cars 3 ended fine. I know a lot of people don't like Cars 3's ending because something something cruise, but I think Cars 3 ended just fine, and it wrapped up the story very well. Um... Francesco, when Lightning comes up against this Italian speedster, he thinks he's a world-class show-off. But over the course of the World Grand Prix, the two racers learn to appreciate each other's skills. That's what I like about Francesco, is that you could tell by the end of Cars 2, they're just kind of buddies that are like... They're just kind of buddies. And you want a scene where all the Cars characters come out of portals because half of them died in the past one? Uh, Junior, <laughs> Junior Moon is on a downward incline. I guess they couldn't fit him otherwise. But, uh, there you go. Junior Moon. I wonder what they say about Junior Moon that they can't say for River or Luis, right? They're very, they're very similar characters. Let's see, Junior. Before Junior Moon went pro, he would race through the woods at night, earning himself the nickname Midnight. Though he doesn't do much night racing these days, he's still a big fan of out-of-the-box racing training techniques. I like that. Of course, they could not mention the fact that he ran Moonshine, which 
they they do say in the movie. Of course, that's based off of real life where moonshine runners, people who like bootlegged moonshine, I believe that's the correct term, uh, would uh. And it could eventually become racers. We have Blue Bodyguard. We got Ivan in here, man. Ivan in a Cars book in 2022. What a what a crazy world. We really. Uh... Oh, that's. Well, didn't River Scott um. Didn't River Scott. Was it River Scott's actor who passed away, or was it Junior Moon's? Well, I mean, if you just do a, a Cars 4, and all you do is just throw, like, a hundred million cameos in there, it, there's really no point. You're just, then you're just doing pointless fan service, you know? You gotta have some substance. I don't think there's a way they could pull off uh, a Cars 4 without it feeling a bit hollow, a bit shallow. That's how it was for Toy Story 4. I like Toy Story 4. I think Toy Story 4, um, I, I think, uh, Toy Story 4 finished the story well in some ways. Toy Story 3 is a good send-off for, for Andy, and Toy Story 4 is more of a send-off for Woody as a character. I think it did the entire side cast of the rest of the Toy Story franchise dirty. They are barely in it. Buzz is kind of a moron. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Buzz Lightyear in the first place, but in Toy Story 4, he's just kind of stupid. Like, he's just become kind of dumb. Um, which I think is funny with him pressing the button with his inner voice, right? But as a whole, I like Toy Story. It's not, not as good as Toy Story 3. Definitely not. Toy Story 3 is easily my favorite of the Toy Stories. Um, oh, so River... So then that's just an error in the Happy Meal game. I gotta talk about the Happy Meal game and the Iceberg 3. I gotta remember to do that. But yeah, there's no way you could do a Cars 4 to me without it just feeling really shallow. Uh, Blue Bodyguard. Tough tow truck Ivan is Victor H's bodyguard. Ivan's towing skills are also put to good use by his boss, who has a tendency to break down more than he's come more than he'd care to admit. Uh, Victor Hugo does not have a section in the book, as far as I know. Thank you, Chicken Tap. I will I will definitely check that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Definitely done. I've considered joining the Cars Wiki, but I'm I'm a little concerned because then you put it on the wiki and then your word is is gospel, you know. Uh, <laughs> Welcome, Simon Larkins. We have mentor mentor swap. It's like sounds like a bad like TLC show. <laughs> um this is on the mentors page. First sticker on the mentors page? Hold on. Hey, of course, this is going to talk about how Cruise Training Lightning became Lightning Training Cruise. Cruise is meant to be training Lightning at Fireball Beach, but Lightning ends up taking on the role of mentor, what I just said. He teaches Cruise the basics of real-life racing, since all her training so far has been on the simulator. No, it isn't. No, it hasn't. She wasn't training. She was a trainer, and she was just driving on the simulator just because, well, I guess it is sort of training, but she was just driving on the simulator, and she said she would get up and do laps every morning. That doesn't count as training. She said she did that because she wanted to be a racer. That, does, that doesn't count. Whatever. Well, we're already at 48 minutes. Guys, I think we're gonna stop the stream after we do this page. Uh, next time, next time uh, we'll definitely do more than just two pages um because this time we spent the first half hour of the stream just going over every section in the book without the stickers in them <laughs> just reading their names uh i think some diecasts were unnecessary as chases or super chases yeah definitely there are some that could have been normal releases especially chases when you go to 2011 chases like prince william well i mean there are people you know some people just have Number one, I mean, we don't even know. Lightning and Sally could very well be married, and we don't even know. Um, but, you know, some couples have a long-term relationship and choose not to get married, you know? They don't have to be. Why is the saturation on this sticker so weird? Why is it such a brighter red than it is in the movie? What happened there? We have City of Lights, presumably about Tokyo. Ramon and Flo have been together for 50 years. I don't need to see them having children. I don't... Biologically... Carologically, I don't know how possible that is, and that would be really cursed. City of Lights, this is on the, uh... Uh, 
Oh, it's not here. Then where's City of Lights? Where does it go? City of Lights, where are you? Where? Hello? Guys, if anyone remembers what page, if anyone has this book and would like to cheat for me, where is it? <laughs> They're more aunt and uncle, honestly? Honestly, that's so true. <laughs> They're more aunt and uncle material. Honestly, you're so right. Guys, where is, where is, where's City of Light? <laughs> I probably passed it like six times. Oh, was it on the best friends page or did I already check that? I already checked that. Where? Is it on, is it on? Oh, oh, Big Adventures, found it. The World Grand Prix takes Lightning and Mater to Tokyo, Japan. The best friends can't wait to explore this city and discover its culture and cuisine. Nah, guys, we're not, we're not singing trucks, thank you. We're not doing this again. Favorite McQueen paint job? Very good question. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I, I just started that sentence like I had the most confident answer. Like I knew exactly what I was going to say. Uh, but I, I, I don't, I'm not really sure, honestly. Favorite car scene? That's a, that's another good question that I'm also not sure on. We have the king. I was gonna say Hudson Horn and Pesting Up McQueen. That's always been a personal favorite of mine and a very underrated one, in my opinion. And I like it because it's pretty obscure. Racing Gravels is after Ace Racer, is you? Well, hey, saying that your favorite movie is Cars 2 is a crime against humanity, and. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's, it's the for me, it's the first one. <clears throat> favorite Cars era? Uh. In terms of releases, uh, it's it's 2013 to 2016. The series, series, love those. That's that's my favorite uh, line of cars diecasts. Has my favorite releases ever easily. In terms of graphic design, my favorite is Blue Desert. I love the card backs for that. The only problem is the car images were too big and would often be cut off. But that's been fixed in future years. The King, the legend, this legend, oh wow, they don't even call him Strip Weathers, which Mattel is obsessed with doing every time he's out for some reason. This legend has won seven Piston Cups, but he is not the arrogant car Lightning expects. The King is generous and honest. He teaches Lightning about honor and integrity. Yes, yes he does. And he looked at him with a side eye the entire time. Why? That's why the King diecast is looking to the side, probably, because his promo art is too. I, I don't know why I never connected the dots there. Or if that's actually the reason why. No giving up. Lightning. I'm going to predict the description of this one. When a bunch of cars crash and make a big explosion, Lightning McQueen sticks his tongue out to lick up the fumes. That is... That would probably be the worst possible cars for. <laughs> my favorite scene in Cars is when Steve Hersel said it's Steve Hersel in time and he's Steve Hersel. Yeah, that's my favorite too, man. By far. By far. No giving up. I assume that's on the first page of Lightning. Alright. Yeah, why is this so over... This image is so oversaturated. Like, it looks unnatural. Someone just w went into... Like some sort of editor and just cranked it just cranked it i would like the marvel characters to stay in their continuity uh very much thank you um but you know personally i would like to see uh uh um 
personally, the Marvel character I'd want to see in the Cars universe is, uh, um, Kingpin. Wouldn't that be neat? Giant Kingpin car. What type of car would he be? He'd be a pretty big one. He's a pretty big guy. <laughs> I, I have no clue. I have no answer. Uh, no giving up. Lightning is super fast, nimble, and quick to react. He always tries his hardest to win the race, even if it means he ends up making a silly face. And what a silly face he made. Oh, Lightning. Wait, I could zoom in on live streams? Wait, I didn't know that. Guys, can I do that this whole time? Wait, no, that's gotta be a new feature. Cause I'm sworn, cause I've tried in the past to zoom in and I, I couldn't before. That's why I always bring things so close to the camera. I could, I could zoom in the entire time and I didn't even know it. <laughs> uh, Cars movie soundtracks. Um, I don't know. I don't know. The, all three of them are good, man. Uh, 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 when I think Cars 2, I immediately think the Finn McMissile theme song, which is such an unfairly good, uh, unfairly good, uh, track. Well, there is no Cars 4. It's not a thing. That exists. But you could watch Ty's Cars for right here on this channel for free. Go watch it. I'm sorry. Sometimes, you know, the, the shameless plug comes out. The Finn McMissile theme music is so unfairly good. Oh, okay. You recently introduced a feature to zoom into a video on mobile. And well, I am on mobile because my, my, I live stream off my phone and I film off my phone. That's cool. I've been waiting for YouTube to do that. Thanks, YouTube. Very cool. Um, yeah, the Finn McMissile track is so good, and I don't really remember the rest of the Cars 2 soundtrack other than that. That's Michael Giacchino, though. Michael Giacchino's incredible. Michael Giacchino, I believe, did Cars 2, and everything he touches is gold, okay? He did, he did all of Lost, every single episode of Lost. He did the current MCU title music. He did, I want to say he did Spider-Man No Way Home. He did Doctor Strange. He has done so, 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 so much. He's done a lot of J.J. Abrams stuff. He did his Star Trek movies. He did Rogue One. Uh, he recently directed Werewolf by Night, which is good for him. He's never, he did like a horror short film a while ago and then Marvel picked him up and was like, yeah, man, just, just do it, man. Michael Giacchino is one of the greatest musicians currently alive. Don't at me. Unexpected Friends, this classic promo image of lightning being towed by Mater has appeared literally everywhere on the planet. Uh, it's thrown onto a stock Radiator Springs background to try to trick you into thinking it appeared in the movie. It did not. Um, they even used it on a diecast for the first time this year. Uh, for the card back for the Lightning and longer Mater 2 pack. You could see there's even some dirt on McQueen, which may be part of the reason for why they chose to include Road Repair McQueen in that 2 pack, because he has dirt on him. Um. <laughs> uh. Because it's a long story, I guess. I mean, that's fair. That's 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 very fair. I'm not offended at all. That's funny. It is. At this point, it is. Cars Adventures is just a soap opera that will never... It, it has an ending planned. Cars Adventures is just MCU meets... Uh, honestly, I think we may have surpassed the MCU. I think we're, like, at the convolution level of the Marvel comics at this point. Because at least the MCU streamlines everything and, like, makes it easy to digest. Right? Even if you haven't watched much MCU content, you could still get the general gist. In the case of Cars Adventures, we're basically the Marvel comics at this point. We've had a soft reboot um, that still keeps the same continuity. We have several ongoing plot lines, just, just at, at, at all times. 
constantly going on. We have season after season, an episode after episode after episode after episode after episode. So many episodes, One Piece is probably jealous of us. All right, unexpected friends. Lightning is ambitious and confident, while Mater's fun-loving and laid-back. Despite their differences, these cars get along like a house on fire. And they always have fun to get... Hold up. Is that a thing people say? Despite their differences, these cars get along like a house on fire. Is that a phrase? Who says that? I need to know right now if anyone has ever heard that phrase. If you're watching the stream or if you're, you're in the comments after it's over. You ever hear someone say, well, we get along like a house on fire. Burn it to the ground. Okay, good. We have one race, a champion racer collection. Thank you. No, I heard about Metro. I heard about Metro. We were talking about it on my Discord server a few days ago. I, I had to just finish reading about a house on fire first. Metro is fascinating, and you'll see it on the Iceberg 3. Um, maybe I'll do a, the story of... But yeah, it's another recently discovered cancelled spinoff. And uh, it's about Subway... Subways. I think it could have been kind of boring because, like, they're just confined to very thin tracks. But very, very interesting. Um, I assume it was either planned after planes or I think it was probably planned before it, like the truck spinoff that leaked a while back. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to put in five more stickers and then we'll be done. Um, again, the next few streams will also be me going through this book. Uh, and there's quite a lot to get through. Um, future streams will not take this long, because the first half hour of this was just me going through the empty book. We have Under Attack, which features, uh, Grem and Acer, I believe this was on the Sticky Situations page, yep. It's so weird that they have the Sticky Situations page framed as, these are things that happen to lightning, and then you have Under Attack. Uh, during the World Grand Prix, Lightning has no idea that he and the other race cars are in danger. A group of villains use a fake camera to try and blow up some of the cars. Will Lightning manage to avoid destruction? Considering the fact that Cars 3 exists, I think he will. Yeah, there's over 1,000. Most of them are extras, and most of them are really tiny little squares. You can't go around saying, yeah, we have over 1,000 stickers, when half of them are this. Tiny Square Louise Nash. Tiny Square Junior Moon, Tiny Square Mater in the Bathroom, Tiny Square Jackson Storm, Tiny Square Jackson Storm, Tiny Square Hit, Tiny Square Cow Weathers, Tiny Square Doctor Damage, Sidley, I can't even tell what that is, Tiny Square Screenshot, Tiny Square Screenshot, Downward Facing Arrow, Chase Race a Lot, Cone, McQueen. Is that Tokyo Mater? No, it's just brand new Mater. Yes, I, I know the original plot of Cars 3. I've talked about it before, I think. Noriyuki. The winner's circle? Yeah, cool. Most of them are just shrunken down versions of stickers that are already in the book. Okay, let's get back on task. Lizzie. Everyone loves Lizzie. If Lizzie isn't your favorite Cars character, then what are you doing? Well, actually, your favorite Cars character is probably Steve Hersel. Uh, Lizzie. So glad Lizzie gets her own section here. Again, they really didn't miss anything. I can't think of one significant thing that isn't... The most significant thing not in this book that I can think of is Bobby Swift. <laughs> and he's not significant. Lizzie. So, very impressed with just how comprehensive this is. And I'm very glad that it is. I think that's great. Lizzie. Lizzie's the oldest car in town and the most outrageous. Her straight talking and sometimes mischievous comments can surprise cars who don't know her very well. Yes, Lizzie is missing from the Disney Store Die Cast line. You think Mattel should continue with on the road diecast on the on the road with the cartoon diecast on the on the road promotion ends? I, I don't think on the road promotion is ending. They're just gonna keep making cars on the road diecasts. Just as they've continued doing stuff from all the movies. There was a rumor a few days ago, and this one comes from someone I trust. Uh 
not that I know, I don't know them personally. I don't trust them personally. But almost everything they've said in the past has come true. Um, because it comes from sort of searching through Walmart's online database. And it was found listings for 2023 re-releases on 2023 re-releases of Drift Party Mater, Kabuto, and Pachoka for the main line. I have a whole video planned on it. I was gonna make it tomorrow, but I have seven cars items to review. I found six new cars today. Uh, but I want to get that video done as soon as possible. It's gonna be a discussion video going like, is this legit? Um, what would it entail? What would I like to see? Hopes and dreams and also like, you know, a segment being like, don't get your hopes up. It could also not be true. Uh, but I have a lot of items to review, guys. I have a lot of things I gotta review. I found I found the mini packs yesterday. Check out my Dino Park three pack review. Um, I have to review the Ivy three pack, which I'll probably do tomorrow. Uh, and then I have six more items. I finally found new singles from on the road today, as well as flipped over. 2022 flipped over. Excited to have him finally. You compare him to the old one. And I found the two new on the road color changers as well. I think I'll be reviewing the IV three pack first. And then I'll get into the bigger items. Typically, I'd probably start with the color changers because they're the newest. But I'm, I'm going to do the IV three pack first. Sterling. Everyone loves Sterling. He's Sterling. He certainly is a character in Cars 3. He doesn't do much, but he's voiced by Nathan Fillion. I like Nathan Fillion. He was in one episode of Lost. I was just talking about Lost earlier. He was, uh, I think Firefly was like the main thing he was on, right? Um, of course, my favorite Nathan Fillion role is, um, Arm Fall Off Boy in the James Gunn Suicide Squad. He, they renamed him to the Detachable Kid, but, uh, that was a cameo from him. <laughs> A.K.A. the clown. Exactly. Sterling's the new owner of Rusty's and a huge Lightning McQueen fan. He seems like a good sponsor at first, but Lightning soon realizes that for Sterling, it's all about the money. Which is why there's another segment immediately under called In It For The Money. It's not about the money. That's my Heath Ledger Joker impression because he says that at one point in that movie. Smokey. On the Thomasville page, presumably. Or is he going to be on the mentor page? I guess we'll see. Oh, wait. Oh, he is on the mentor page. Cool. <laughs> it's not always about the money, Spider-Man. I was just talking about Kingpin earlier, wasn't I? It's about the Mets. What a strange meme. It was pretty funny when it was going around. Smokey's an aged pickup truck. Way to avoid saying he's old. He's not old, he's aged. That's how you describe cheese, not a person. Smokey is an aged pickup truck who used to be Doc Hudson's crew chief and mentor. Now we run Smokey's Automotive Service, the best dang garage in town. I like that because the, the back of a Smokey has best dang garage in town written on the back. Uh, and his license plate is like BST-GRG for best garage. I like that. And tractor train. I think this is the only representation for the tractors in the book. Which is fine. They're not that significant. Driving among a herd of tractors teaches Lightning and Crews to find their window of opportunity to get ahead in a race. And there we have it, guys. This is the first two pages, left and right side, of stickers put into the book. We are slowly but surely making progress. Again, next time we will definitely do a lot more. I don't know when I'll do the next stream following this up. I don't want to take too long with this. Um, but we'll probably be doing this into December, I think, probably. Um, but I like doing this, going through it slowly, going through each section, you know. Again, next time won't take as long because we'll have uh, of other stuff. I mean, we'll, we'll have less stuff to, to talk about because I started this stream by talking about the empty pages. And we have something for at least one sticker on each page aside from making new friends and a little on the road section in the back. But there you have it, guys. Very, uh, very glad that we went through it. And yeah, we'll be doing some more next time. So on the channel in the next week, I, ha I just planned out my schedule for the next week um, last night, uh, planning out all my upcoming videos. Um, and then today I found six new cars, so it's going to be a little difficult balancing that, but I'll probably do some double uploads, reviewing some of the new stuff, uh, going over some of the other stuff going on. And yeah, that's it. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.